so hello everybody welcome back to my another video tutorial so in this video i'm gonna show you how to make a realistic photorealistic interior rendering but i wanna show you how to composite this is a composition uh chapter so the another video i will show you so how to make a realistic render uh, using only sky texture. I am not using the HDR image. HDR image is very, very takes a very long to render it. But this is uh, rendering. So so this is the so I I want to show you. Uh, render another run render so this is uh, this is another render this is another render and this is uh, this is my final render view after composition this is the composition so I got this texture uh, freely from PDF brochure. I will show you later. So this is my composition. So so you can see. So this part for noise reduction to make a noise reduction. Go to this panel. And I am using the 4.2.0. You can see here about the Blender. So 4.2.0 LTS version. This is not a beta. So therefore, uh, this is the noise reduction. To make a noise reduction, always click on the material, crypto mat material. So this is a crypto mat material. So you can see here the uh, crypto mat material. So wall blue. Uh, this is for this is for wall noise reduction, noise cancellation, and this is for rest of the part, not for wall. This is the wall, and, and this is rest of the part to uh, noise cancellation. Second part to mix it emission clear. So when I open this, you can see here the emission, and I use the IESI light it's here to make it clear. I use the emission clear. The emission to active this one just go to the viewer channel and active this emission I have read I have purchased the uh, blender lighting book and I I finished this job with the help of this book six years ago I have purchased this one for glare this one bloom and add and next part color grid so it's on the backdrop in a image so you can see first one the hue correct this is the hue correct to decrease the yellow yellow color because it has the more it has this uh, this woody texture and this mat has a more yellowish so I make the yellowish uh, down so if you if I it is a it is not heavily changed it is a very very little point i have changed very little quantity and increase the blue a bluish value 
so you can see here it just looks like a bluish it just looks like a bluish pattern so first you have to use the hue correct and second one color balance to if I deactivate this one you can see the the tone is a quite yellowish tone quite a warm tone but I don't want to make this scene a yellowish you can see here it is a, like a blue bluish a dark bluish this is without color balance uh, this is color balance you can see it's uh, quite pretty good good looking very nice looking so how you can do it i want to show you the hex code you can see that you can put this hex code to come up Uh, the leaf to bluish gamma uh, uh, very little a bit little yellowish change the hex code on uh, you can see the RCB or you can directly put the hex code see the RCB and the gain gain is a bit bluish color so you can see the RCB and the hex code the second one second one is the color correction so you see that if i deactivate the color correction you can see this is the active color and without active this is active color a bit darkish so how you can see the setting directly from here this is the main to color grid first you should use you correct and then color balance and color correction but I I didn't use here the vignette effect see here there are no vignette effect uh, is here so I don't think that the, the vignette effect will make this seen very good quality uh, seen look ready everybody can use the vignette effect so color correction carefully see how I how I made this scene very lucrative very good looking the saturation first saturation you can see the mid tone this is the mid tone this is the mid tone contrast one and I went to uh, change the mid tone point eight to scale it down and the gain scale it down for nine point five zero and the lift value minus point one zero and, and I and I left everything as a default setting and next one the hue saturation value you can see here the saturation Hello, if I deactivate this one, you can see uh, uh, this is a more saturation. This is less saturation. This is not active. This here saturation is active. I make something uh, less saturation. So you can see here the more saturation. If I change the hello point nine. So you can see the changes. You can see the changes. So I want to uh, I want to leave it as default. The value setting one. So and the next part is mix mix value I and I added. RCB black color, you uh, see the black, the hex color, uh, absolutely pitch dark, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 6, 0. So, if I, without the black color, if I deactivate the black color, you can see, this is a light, 
and with black is more dark. If I use the point one, you can see the the scene is white dark. If I use the point one, you can see the scene is more dark. But, but I want to uh, use point zero five here. So you can see the effect. So this is the process how you can achieve uh, achieve your achieve your goal to make your real uh, to make this scene a more realistic, more photorealistic, more artistic type. So in the another part, I will show you how to make your make this uh, render in cycle in the blender more realistic without using without using the without using the ENB uh, HDR or uh, EXR light I I only use the sky texture. It takes your render time more fast, faster than the faster than the um, HDR images. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video with a new tutorial. Bye bye.